starts his test drive of gaming on two's Isuzu CYZ460 on a farm development site across the Waikato River from Rangariri in the northern Waikato. The task is to move a 22-tonne excavator north to a factory in Manukau City. All up weight will be around 42 tonnes, so it'll be a good test for the Isuzu's relatively modest horsepower. The CYZ460 is, as the name suggests, a 460 horsepower version of this popular Isuzu model. The engine produces peak power at 1800 rpm and 2254 newton meters at 1300 rpm. That torque rating is the same as the more powerful 530 model, so it'll be interesting to see how the 460 goes. We pull out of the farm site over a long access track and Trev immediately feels the truck pulling easily and upshifts the 18 speed Road Ranger at around 1500 rpm, keeping the revs nicely in the green band. The gear shift is smooth and the box falls into the gears easily. The clutch pedal is nice and light, in fact very light, so it takes a few gear changes to get a good feel for it. This model has construction truck spec, so there's no AMT variant either. With a load on, even over the rough access track, the ride from the all steel suspension is excellent with very little jarring coming up through the cab. Any bumps that do come up through the cab are dealt with by the ISRI 6860 air suspension seat, a top end item found in many Euro trucks. Adding to the ride comfort is the four-point electronically controlled airbag cab suspension. We're soon heading towards the single lane Rangariri Bridge to cross the Waikato River and get onto State Highway 1. Anybody who's driven the roads on the western side of the Waikato will know that this is peak country and the road surface isn't smooth. There are some really good bumps along the way, but fully loaded, the Isuzu delivers a good, stable ride and the steering is very good with excellent feel through the wheel and no bump steer. Once we're on SH1, we're looking forward to a cruisy drive north, but that's not to be today with repeated speed restrictions and bumper to bumper traffic. The roadworks are all in the interest of better highways, so we shouldn't complain, but it means truck drivers have to be alert as every car is trying to get in front and even when there's no room to do it. That, combined with the traffic slowing from 100 k's now for the speed restricted areas, means you need to be reading the road ahead really well. Cars don't slow down gradually either, but push on past, then jump on the brakes at the last minute. Fortunately, the Isuzu's service brakes and auxiliary retardation, combining the X-Tard exhaust brake and the Gigatard permanent magnet drive shaft retarder, works really well. It's heavy traffic all the way to Auckland, but we do hit the Bombay Hill at 90 k's now, so we get a good run up into the steep and sustained climb. We start losing gears just before the Razorback Road overbridge, and Trevor steadily shifts down through the box to fifth low, bottom of the top box, and it holds the gear easily. We held steady at 40 k's an hour on much of the climb, though as the gradient gets steeper, we're doing just over 32 k's an hour. Speed increases to almost 38 k's an hour coming up to the summit, and the 460 isn't struggling either, running close to 1800 RPM and doing it easy. In fact, Trev upshifts to fifth high just before the top and probably feels we could have done most of that climb in that ratio. With the engine delivering good torque and holding revs for most of the climb, at no point is there any rush to downshift. It's pretty good for a 460 horsepower truck. Once over the top, Trev drops the seventh high for the run down the northern side and is constantly lifting off the retarder, which holds the truck back easily. Given the traffic, he's probably a bit conservative with the retarders, but tends to stay on the cautious side. Coming to Auckland, we encounter the usual traffic jams around the Takanini motorway widening. Once again, we're on full alert, watching for cars cutting in front while trying to keep a safe distance. We're soon heading off the motorway into Weary Station Road, and then we face a final hurdle. Trevor has to get the unit through a tight gateway onto a busy factory site, and then negotiate his way around a yard full of pipes and tanks to the offload point at the rear of the site. Overall, the Isuzu CYZ460 is an interesting drive. When so many companies are specifying 500 horsepower plus trucks for this sort of work, we find that the 460 model handles the job well. There are still many operators who don't want higher horsepower, and with a 460 engine delivering the same torque as the 530, it's proved a popular model for Isuzu. As we climb down from the cab, it certainly doesn't feel like we've done a hard day's work. The truck's very relaxing to drive, and certainly doesn't feel like it needs any more horsepower.